Hi friends, welcome all. I hope you all doing good. Welcome to my channel. And uh, in this video, I'm planning to show you uh, this emergency generator room. On board uh, for electricity, for running all equipments, we are using generators for producing electricity. So in case of any power failure in that generators, that time we are using this emergency generator. This, uh, this is using only at the time of emergency. We are not using this all the time. Uh, we will make weekly or monthly thrusters for this emergency generator. That's all on board. And uh, this will give power supply only for the emergency equipment, not to all equipments. Let's go and see what we have. Let's go. Normally, emergency generators are powered by diesel. And they were located in separate space from engine room. In this ship, it is located outside the accommodation. It is designed to start automatically in case of power failure. This is the panel board for the emergency generator. The starter panel is used to start the generator either by cranking or by battery. The short panel is used to connect the emergency generator to short power. Water meter to measure the unit. Emergency generator on ship typically produce both single and three phases power. As I told you, we can produce three phase and single phase. This one is three phase feeder panel, which will feed the power supply to heavy equipment, for example, pumps and all. This is the feeder panel for 220 volt, that is single phase which will give power supply for lightning and all light equipments for example navigation equipments, navigation lights, etc. These are all the breakers for the all equipments which are running by single phase and three phase. If you like to read, you can pause this video and you can read. This is our generator which we use to produce electricity. In case of any failure in starting this generator by battery, you can always go for second option that is by cranking this engine. By pressurizing by hydraulic oil, you can crank the engine. For starting the generator manually, you have a handle provided. By using this handle, you can pressurize up to 300 bar and open the shut valve to start the generator. The procedure you can find here, you can pause and you can read out. This is the panel where you can choose the generator to start manually or by auto fuel tank for this generator here you can see a wire that is attached to a wall that is known as cube closing wall it is used to shut the fuel supply immediately by pulling a lever it is used at the time of fire on board to prevent catching fire this is side glass to see the fuel level Friends, I hope you all got a basic idea regarding emergency generator on board. If anybody is watching this video without subscribing, please do subscribe and support my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.